Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's challenge day. Marguerite Miller, week 14, hashtag little bits of lace 2024. And Roxy's weekly challenge and I think it's week 13 of that. So let me say hi and hugs and then I'll tell you what happened. So hi and hugs to Brenda, Heather, Denise, and Natalie Ann. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. And I just, I had a little difficulty trying to do this video earlier. So I already have the Marguerite Miller challenge done so we're just going to talk about it and then we'll do the other challenges okay so something you see through a window i have these pine trees that's what i see through my window something with wheels a map something using electricity i did the the christmas tree here a bit of orange and a name and there we go and then i just have I have the trees so that this can slide kind of back there. So that's the Marguerite Miller. You just didn't get to see me glue it down as all today. But, um, oh gosh, just a few goatees today. You know, this happens. Haven't done any videos for a while. Okay, little bits of lace. We are going to use this little scrap bin of lace. And then I'll show you what we're going to do. So this is the example. And it's made with, you know, these little uh, squares in the back of a paper pad of Tim Holtz paper. You know, it's kind of like that. Yeah. So I have a bunch of them here. Good thing, because I already did them once. I'll show you those. And then, and then we'll make some. They're super easy, but really cute and really fun. So there's one that I made with the little bits of lace. Oops. Here's another one. And here's one with a piece of black lace. So that's, that's the project. Super easy. And um, so let's take let's take three of these. Let's decide which ones we want. I'm just kind of taking a look, see at what we've got left to play with here. Oh, for sure, this one. This is one of my favorites. That one, and maybe this one. So we'll do we'll do those. I'm going to ink them. For, oh, let's let's decide on ephemera. So um, you see on the example, there's a little piece of ephemera there with the lace. Let's decide on the ephemera and then we'll kind of distress everything and I'll catch up on a couple other things. This is really cute. I mean, different being round, but I think I'm going to have that one on there. Let's just dig in the bin and see see what we might have. There's that one, but it's kind of bluish gray. doesn't really go. So let's see what else. This one. That's a maybe. Give that one a definite maybe. Um, let's see what else do we have. We've got this little card. That could go good there. All right. And then there's this one. Mm, I'd like something with a little more, a little more writing to it. Ooh, there is another round one too. I do like the round. But how about this? This would be cute. Okay, so we'll do that and we'll do a little distressing. Oh, the one thing I, I need to do so I don't forget is I wanted to show you the book that, because I'm doing an idea book with all the lace bits. And this book was made by Jacqueline Wiley. She's Purple Plum Pansies on Etsy. And um, it's got... It's got our ideas in there. This was from last week, 
the belly band. So that's going to go there. We've done that one. This little card. And then I stuck another one of these into the idea book. So I wanted to show you that and I wanted to show you after they were sewn, the ones from last week. So this was going to be the sideways belly band, like so. And see, I just went around the edges and crisscrossed is all I did on that one. This one, I had to get some other things sewn down like these little edges. So it's kind of a wonky all over the place stitch. And then this is the long one that we did last week. And it's kind of all over the place too. Mostly in triangles, but a little bit all over the place. So just to catch you up on that, I did get those sewn. And in the idea book. Okay. So, well, I can't, can't put that in right now. So let's just shove that up there. <laughs> okay onward on this project now my example is not um distressed but i i think they look cuter distressed so i'm gonna do it so i am filming this on monday for wednesday so it's the monday after easter i hope you all had a wonderful easter and um if you don't celebrate easter then a wonderful sunday we had a great time. We had our son and our oldest daughter and their families here, which was super fun. Um, yeah, played games outside, played games inside. You know, it was just, it was just great. And Addie brought her friend Zad, who um, is a real nice kid. And so he fit right in to all the Augustinelli goofiness, and it was great. I said to my daughter, I guess we're getting to the point where we have the plus ones. <laughs> so, yeah, it was fun. But, um, yeah, so they just came on Saturday, spent the night Saturday night, and then stayed till about noon on Sunday. We had our our Easter meal at noon and then they they headed home so um yeah okay so this was fun so we did the Easter egg hunt inside because it was snowy and cold and stuff so we we just decided to do it inside and um <laughs> They wanted to be a challenge because we've got, you know, all teenage kids in those families. So they did the Easter egg hunt in my craft room <laughs> just to make it more of a challenge. And indeed it was. I'll tell you what, the eggs really blended into everything else in here. <laughs> so, of course, I took much harassment about my about my craft room and all my crap and junk in it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, all in good fun. Okay, let's find some scraps. I have still a little of this black. I think I'd like that. Maybe, maybe something like that. No, maybe over there. Yeah, like that. Okay blue don't have any blue going on right here we do have yellow this kind of yellow here's a is this smaller nope about the same size okay um find my scissors they're buried and let's just do a bit of that on this one and i'm just gonna go there with that, hanging that just slightly over the edges, like so. And then this one, actually, I could do yellow on it too, couldn't I? Do we want yellow or do we want white? I don't know. Or white. 
That might white want white. I might have might what 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 what. So I'm just going to put the lace down, kind of put this at a jaunty little angle. And then I'm going to use my um, stapler and just kind of give it a little even more personality with a rusty staple. So that's all there is to it. But cute, I think, to stick in a pocket or on your page. They could be, a, you know, like a side tuck, just... Um, glue here and here, and then you can pop something there. They could be the decoration on a pocket or, um, or journal card or belly band or anything. So let's go. Okay. Let's go right there. I think I'm going to put one here, too, so it's not flippy flopping. Okay. Two elements. Couldn't be any easier, could it? Okay, so this one will go right down here. Like that. And aren't those fun? Just cute. Yep. Okay, I have more that we can do, and we will do if we have time. How's that? We'll just move on to Roxy's Weekly Challenge now that I've shown you how to do those. And then, um, and then, yeah, we'll continue on with some if we want to. Okay, so let's stick those over there, too. Okay, Roxy's Weekly Challenge is um this pile I'll just grab it okay so she used book page these are going to be journal cards she wrapped them around like that which i don't really feel i mean this is about three and a half inches so it's good to go into a uh, um uh, pocket. Boy, boy. Okay. Um, these ones we'll set aside. We'll kind of do these like mass make style, but let's go ahead and make one of these all the way. And then I can show you, so you show you what she was doing. Okay. So a neutral sort of, um, um, digital. These are one of my collage digitals on my Etsy shop. And so I'm going to put that on there. I am going to wrap that around a little bit and that will strengthen it some. So let's put that on there. And yeah, what a, what a goofy day. I started this video, had the fuel teas and then we had to go to an appointment and it's just been a crazy day. So I'm actually finishing this up much later than I normally film, but you know, it was one of those days. So I'm going to put this to where it's, you know, kind of at the, at the crease like that. Okay. That's on there crookedly, but I don't, it's doesn't matter really. Okay, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to put writing paper on the back. And I have just pulled out some that I thought would be good. I thought I had more than one, no? I had that, and I have these two. Okay, these are Carol Cutts Designs. And I think this one goes the best with this. Oh, yeah, there is two there. I thought there was. Alrighty, so let's tear this down to size for this. And then these are similar to some pockets that we did. They're going to have the focal point kind of hanging off the edge. So um, they're 
similar to those pockets where we had something sticking up over the edge of the pocket. Okay, so then we'll go here. Give that a rip. About there. And this way too. I'm going to leave a little bit of the book page writing at the bottom just so you can so you can kind of see that. Scraps and just give that a little glue. I think I need a new glue stick. Yes, I do. Need a new glue stick. Donna, I'm switching glue sticks. <laughs> Pal Donna's keeping track for me. I'm keeping track too. We'll see how close we are, how close we match. Okay. There we go. So there is the writing side of that. And then for this one, I have this as a focal point. This is, um, oh gosh, it's been in my stuff for literally years. And this was from Sue Olson was her name. Digital from her, like one of, seriously, one of the first digitals I ever had. So this is on cardstock, so I'm just going to glue it down. If, if it was, and then I'm going to hang it over the edge a little bit. If I have to decide. Mm, I think I like that better because you can see more of the pretty book page. So, so yeah, this has, I've had this in my stash forever. It's the last one I have printed out. I noticed. I think it came in a set of, I don't know how many, several of them, but I have, I think I'm going to go this way just because I don't want to get glue everywhere. Okay, right about like that, I think. Okay, and then there you have it just that easy so we'll do the other ones i have prepared in more of a mass make sort of way okay i could use a little here too yeah so that's it. And there you have the journal card. So that's the Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And we will just grab these other pieces of paper here. So I, I just went in my, um, in my box of book pages and I, I saw this too and thought actually that would be that would be good too. You could just fold it in half and then maybe fold it over a little bit. Might as well prepare them just in case. It's very brittle. It's not going to fold well. But I'm going to try it anyway. See, and then we can glue that. That's what she did on hers. I didn't feel like I had to on my other glue pages because they were um, rag paper. But these two, I think, kind of need it. Don't have a focal point prepared for those, but we'll just see how we do here. Let's just do this one. See if we can find something. I have a little extra time since I'm not doing the Marguerite Miller challenge. Okay, so those can be extras if we get these done. How's that? All righty then. So, kind of set those over there. I just, I want to keep the focal point with them just because 
I decided where I wanted to put them. And okay, so we need to put, I guess first things first, we'll put the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? Oh, neutral paper. I am struggling today. It's been, honestly, it's been one of those days. So let's just, let's just take this off right here. Put that in my to be, um, to be stamped on. Okay, we'll just do that on that one. Okay, let's see. This one. Bet I could do two with this. I'm going to just rip it right down there. And then I think I'm going to rip it in half. We had yummy food throughout the weekend. My husband literally outdid himself with yummy desserts and everything. It was so good. Okay, so we'll put that one on that one. And then this one, I'm thinking maybe on this one. I want that folded a bit more so we can see kind of like to see those letters okay, and put that one on there and then the other two maybe we can just ooh, this one with the blue it would be good to have that blue wouldn't it okay um don't i think i need it that wide and I definitely want the blue, so I think I'm going to rip that one there and fold that over a bit and put that there. Yeah, that'll be good. I don't want to cover up all the blue. almost wish I could put it upside down, but... Or we can move it up. That's what we'll do. Hello, Gail. More than one way. More than one way. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, goodness. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Yes, we did. We had Alfie for a week. <laughs> oh, I was better than I've been in the past, but still not the greatest. Okay, so that one will work for that one. Okie dokie. Now, you could, if you wanted to, you could um, ink those edges. I'm not going to worry about it, but I am going to ink my focal points. Now, these were just on regular paper, so I backed them on book page that I had glued on. I just used that to back them. We watched a lot of March Madness this weekend. I'm, I'm, I think I'm in a route for uh, North Carolina State. Is it? I think because they're kind of the Cinderella team that made it to the Final Four. So um, yeah, I'm in a route for them all the way along. And they, I, if I remember correctly, they beat Duke, which was no small. No small task for them. Yeah, just so much fun. I love March Madness. Oh, look, I have a little couple places that I need to cut out there. Excuse me. See, I left that little spot. Don't want the book page showing through. Okay, there's that one, and then this little guy. Didn't even think about that when I was cutting these. Okay, 
There we go. That's better. Much, much. Did I tell you I found my scissors? They were in my slow stitching. These are the ones that Jimmy Joe ate up in back in the day. <laughs> oh. Every once in a while, there's still remnants of that guy. Okay. These little mushrooms. Yeah, so if they weren't playing games, they were laying on the couch, watching March Madness, or napping, or whatever, and... Oh, it was just so lovely to have everybody around. Loved it. That's the first time I may have told you this. So I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but that's the first time since the you-know-what that we have hosted a holiday here. Gosh, I just realized, you know, how much I missed that. Okay, so we're going to put the papers on. And then we'll back them, okay? But these got to go on the front. So my apologies if this video ends up being a bit shorter than usual. It's because Marguerite Miller, that just didn't work out. <sighs> oh, goodness, yes. Oh. Come on, Gail, get it on there straight if you can. There we go. That's better. Okay, so there's that one. This one. This is on wormy paper from Rachel herself. Works about the best to go along the edge like that. Okay, there's that one. Now we've got this one. I think I need a new glue page, or at least. A new side. This was a fun one too. Just super easy. Both both projects today were were real easy ones to put together. What am I doing? I'm going right here. Yes. Like that. Put that one up higher, just so I, the blue would show. I think I'm going to put this one down low. I'm excited because tomorrow there are no... There are no... Um, No interruptions, no appointments, no nothing. I just can be in my craft room. Oh, I want that up higher, right? No, down lower. There we go. Yeah, so tomorrow's going to be a fun day because I just get to stay in here. Okay, there's that one. This one. Okay. Then we need to get out our plain pieces. All right, and this one. Okay, now let's back them because we want to put that on last. 
Okay, let's just use some of this. throwing things. It's a beautiful day here today. Had it been this beautiful on Easter Sunday, we probably would have had our egg hunt outside and not in my craft room, and I could have avoided all that harassment about how full my craft room is. <laughs> oh, they do give me a bad time. They do, they do. Let's see, can I go this way? Yep. Sure can. I think I want more lacy though. Can't we'll do this. Oh yeah, they were giving me all sorts of grief. I think at the same time though, they have kind of a smirk on their faces because they know how much I enjoy doing all this. So so Addie brought her friend Zad down, you know, the first night or the first afternoon that they got here. And she said, I got to show you my, my Nana's craft room. That's a bit small. And so they came down and I said, now be careful of your reaction, Zad. <laughs> and he kind of looked at me and, I, you know, I was laughing. He knew I was teasing him. And he came around the corner and he goes, oh, wow. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Oh, wow is right, buddy. <laughs> he said, this is where I film my journal videos. This is where I film my mixed media stuff. And, yeah, it was pretty fun. Okay, so now what color would I like? I think we'll do, I think we'll do this one. Let's get it ready. Yeah. I was impressed with the kid, though. How intimidating to, because altogether there were 11 of us, you know, and how intimidating to come and spend the night at somebody's some stranger's house and you know hang out with the family all weekend yeah I was pretty impressed seems like a good egg <laughs> get that see how I did that with the Easter and all yeah okay <laughs> oh I was excited to do these I am Happy to these and the little bits of lace. And I'm really happy, honestly, with how my Marguerite Miller turned out this time. I feel like my last two have been, yeah, they've really made me happy. So that's always good when what you do makes you happy. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Sometimes it turns out and you go, okay, well, that was an experiment. Oh, gosh, it's sticking. I'm going to have to get a new page. Okay, there's that one. And we just have the mushrooms left. We'll just... That's not too bad. I'll just do that. So, yeah, tonight, Monday night, uh, Caitlin Clark plays again. So we're going to watch that tonight. Excited about that. And it's on when the news is on. And I don't like to watch the news. I do because I need to know what to pray for. So I watch it. But I'm always happy when I can skip a day. <laughs> Isn't that awful? Oh, Okay, let's let's decide where do we want these guys. I think right about there. I want to see. Oh, except they're going to hang over, aren't they? That's right. Remember the assignment, Gail. 
Okay. Great. Thank you, whoever said, oh, Gail, you're not hanging them over. Because I had forgotten briefly. I just forgot briefly. Okay, so let's just go right about that. See, and there's one piece made for fall already. Now, I would put something there. Maybe if we have time, we'll do a little more on these. Okay, then this one. Just, should I go there? Ooh, I think I like it better there, even though I cover up a couple of letters. Yes. Yeah, I feel like they just, like, need a little label or something. So oh, we'll see if we, if we have the time. Yeah, I like that right there. That one's good. And could have, could have uh, distressed the edges. I don't know. I'll just see. This one, I think I might put right there so that we can see a little of this. Okay, just trying to put my thumb where I'm not going to glue, which is what I do on pockets a lot, but this works for this too. Okay. That-ish. Good, good. That one's fun. Just has this little pokey outy thing. You could always, if they won't fit where you want them, you could always clip them off too. There is that. There is that option. Oops. I think I'm gonna go to this side with this guy. These are so cute. Rachel comes up with such cute ideas. She has to come up with 52 ideas, you know, for a day of every week. Okay. Oops. Use a little paper towel. Got a, got a little over further. Okay, so there's that one. This one. I think we'll go over that way. Not too much of this that isn't going to be glued. Pretty quick to make, really, too. Okay. there. So what time is it? Yeah, we've only got about 15 minutes left. So maybe what we'll do is go ahead and, um, you know, find some, find some labels or something to go on these. Let's do that. And then they'll be completely done. So, oh, and then we have this one over here, too. We have the house. Oh, righty then. Um, I feel like this one could use something down here and this one, too, maybe. I don't know. Let's get out our junk journal studio. The junk journal studio. Maybe pink would be nice. Get one out here and see size-wise what we want. Love that. Okay. So I think we want that size 
for the other one. This might be too big. Yeah, that's going to be too long. Okay. Need a shorter, shorter word. And I've got some down there. Let me grab my tweezers. Sometimes it's because sometimes they sink down in the pocket and I can't get a hold of them. That one says today, and that is just right. Okay, those are good on those. Let's see what we want on these. Um. This one, I think I just want black, maybe. Content? Nope, too big. Create? It's kind of too big, too. So let's go to the next size and see. What do we have? They're all kind of... How about journey? Yes, I like that there. And then this one, maybe laugh. Yes. Okay. Um, this one could probably, it could use the black or it could use fall perhaps. Do I have any? All things that go that way. No. But maybe I have something else. Nope, those all go that way too. Okay. How about... Get your hands dirty. The beginning is the most important part of the work. I think I need something that's a little wider. Okay. So not those. Stick those back in there. How about the vintage labels? Anything there? Got another round bit. That's not too bad. But I kind of want something. Yeah. I don't know what I want. I'll know it when I see it. It's too big. Yeah, that one. Okay, and then this blue one, I have some, somewhere, some blue words as well. How about pure joy? Those all work great. Woohoo. Alrighty then. Let's distress them and get them on there. I'm going to put this back up. Out of our way. Okay, well, cool. These are going to be ready to go into a journal already. And since I did the video twice, see, I don't know how to splice them together. I know people know how to do that. I am not one of those people that knows how to do that. So I had to just start over. Okay, that's really cute. I really am loving this one. I think I'm going to do a Rachel and cut the corners. Okay, and I want to just see what it looks like with a little bit of Distress Ink. Okay, I'm really happy with that. That's cute. Okay, today.
so we had to go chat with our guy that ha you know manages our retirement um, retirement funds or whatever and he is the husband of my daughter Amy's best childhood friend and um, so I told Mike it's just so nice to have someone that I completely and utterly trust and I know he's got our best interests at heart that's just a lovely thing my middle daughter, she was saying, I'm so glad you have such good friends, Mom. And I said, you know, I think it's because I've lived in the same town my entire life. Yeah, so there's that one. I mean, if you don't know somebody from something, you know somebody who does know them or whatever. You know, there's just that bond of being being in one place your whole life. And I've told you guys before, that was my dad's biggest wish that I, that I have roots, that I, you know, live in the same place. I wish all my kids still did, but you know, <laughs> oh well, they had to go where the jobs are, you know, so there is that. But, um, not that there's not jobs here, but not their particular specialty of job. My um, my son's has to be in Missoula for his, and you know, my son-in-law in Denver. That's a kind of a hub for the region of Stryker that he's a manager of. Okay, there you go, there's that one. And then, um, yeah, so, same with my youngest daughter, what she does, she's sort of at a regional hub and having the airport there is a big deal for a lot of jobs, you know. Our airport goes like two places. <laughs> oh, I forgot to snip that one. Although it's kind of torn. I like it how it is. This one could use some snippage. Try not to go too much. There we go. So, yeah. So anyway, I it's it's great to have him looking out for us, making sure we have enough to get to, to do what we need to do later on, too. Okay, so there's that one. And this one. And we'll tidy up a skosh and get everything out here so we can have a recap. Okay. Love these. I'll be making more of these, I think. Yeah. There's that one. So that's the Roxy's Weekly Challenge. Let's just tidy up a skosh and um, we'll take a look here. Got to remember to say that that glue stick is gone. <laughs> okay, so that's those. Then the little bits of lace are these just to give you yeah with two pieces just two pieces added to those just makes those so fun okay and then our marguerite miller challenge is right here 
So there you have it. Challenge Wednesday. I got this video done. Yes. <laughs> So thanks for being here, everyone. I hope you have a grateful day. Be kind always, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!